Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, th in this passage from Proverbs, we're going to discover something that you probably know, but maybe we don't always consciously notice. And that is that some people don't want to learn, don't want to change, and don't want to grow. There's some people that are just resistant to that and others that are, that are quite open. And so this is addressed in Proverbs chapter 9, verses 7 through 9. Listen to God's word and notice the two different kinds of people that are addressed in the scripture. Okay, Proverbs 9, beginning verse 7. Whoever corrects a mocker invites insults. Come on, insult me. You know, uh, Whoever rebukes the wicked incurs abuse. Do not rebuke mockers or they will hate you. Rebuke the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will be wiser still. Teach the righteous and they will add to their learning. Did you notice it? It's not, it's not hard to see there. Two kinds of people. Now that, that's a generalization. There's, it's more, life's more complex than that. But generally speaking, there's two kinds of people. And so this passage says, hey, one of those kind of people will not listen, will not learn, will not receive input or questions. And they're called mockers and wicked people. And, and they're, called, they're, they're the kind of people that when you bring something to them, they retaliate. When you share with kindness and honesty a concern, they become vindictive and vengeful and, and come back. Sometimes it's overt and obvious. Sometimes it's really subtle and nasty. But there's some people that you know that when you go to them, you're, they're, 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 there's going to be something coming back your way. Well, you know, you do this. You know, what about you? That's one kind of person that this passage talks about. Here's the second. It's the wise person. What this passage, what, what Proverbs says, the righteous person. And, and, so, and so in Proverbs chapter 9, 7 through 9, we discover that there's the kind of person who, when, the, when you share a concern, when you share something with kindness, even if you point out something that's kind of a rebuke or a question or a challenge, they become wiser because they listen, they receive, they're receptive to that. Uh, they, they gain wisdom. They become more of who God wants them to be. And so here's, here's the challenge as you invest your life into people. Figure out the kind of person you're talking to. Is this person a mocker? Is this a person who does not receive? Or is this a person who is a wise person who's going to become even wiser because they're going to listen to what you have to say? They don't have to always agree, but will they receive it and hear it and let God speak to them through it? And here's the challenge. Don't spend your life beating your head against the wall, trying to change people who are going to mock, who are going to disdain you, who are going to retaliate. Now, if it's your own child, you're raising your child, you got to hang in there with them, okay? They're, they're young, they're learning. But as you grow into adulthood, and as you have the chance to invest in other people, are you going to try to invest in two or three people year after year after year who never listen, who always resist, and who push back? Or maybe God would use you to encourage many, many people who want to become wiser, who want to learn, who want to grow. This passage from the book of Proverbs reminds us that how we invest our time in people matters, so figure out who you're talking to, and I, I've learned through the years, I don't spend a lot of time investing in mockers, in fools, in people who want nothing. They don't want to learn anything because I got tired of beating my head against the wall. When God calls you to that, hang in there. But if not, find those people who are receptive. Let's pray together. Living God, we sometimes can be that person who is the mocker and, and resistant, soften our hearts to be good listeners and to hear from others. But we pray that as we pour into the lives of people, that they would be receptive that, that those who are wise will become wiser. And Lord, I pray for all those listening to this right now, that if they have gotten the pattern and the habit of over-investing in people who never listen, never learn, and never seem to change, I pray that they might be open to hearing your word and finding people who are wise and hungry to learn and investing some time and energy in them as well. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day wherever you're part of a church. Get engaged in your church. Be part of the body of Christ. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we will see you this coming Sunday at 9 o'clock or 11. Have a great day.